Hello and welcome to Bible Hour. We're so glad that you joined us today to sing some songs, see a puppet show, and hear a lesson from God's Word. Let's get started. First of all, let's get out your clappers or your snappers. Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God. And knoweth God, he that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love, God is love. Beloved, let us love one another. First John 4, 7 and 8. Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God. And knoweth God, he that loveth not. No, it's not God, for God is love, God is love. Beloved, let us love one another. First John 4, 7 and 8. Good job. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life that I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I've been crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life that I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Day one, day one, God made light when there was none. Day one, day one, God made light when there was none. Day two, day two, God made clouds and sky so blue. Day two, day two, God made clouds and sky so blue. Day three, day three, God made flowers and grass and trees. Day three, day three, God made flowers and grass and trees. Day four, day four, sun and moon and stars galore. Day four, day four, sun and moon and stars galore. Day five, day five, God made birds and fish alive. Day five, day five, God made birds and fish alive. Day six, day six, God made animals a man that day. Day six, day six, God made animals a man that day. Day seven, day seven, God rested in his heaven. Day seven, day seven, God rested in his heaven. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16, John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16, John 3.16. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand upon the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. The B-I-B-L-E, I'll take it home with me. I'll read and pray and then obey the B-I-B-L-E. Blue skies and rainbows and sunbeams from heaven are what I can see. When my Lord is living in me, I know that Jesus is well and alive today. He makes his home in my heart. Nevermore will I be all alone since he Promise me that we never would part. Tall mountains, green valleys, the beauty that surrounds me all make me aware of the one who made it all. I know that Jesus is well and alive today. He makes his home in my heart. Nevermore will I be all alone since he Promise me that we never would part. 
Green grass and flowers all blooming in springtime are works of the Master. I live for each day. I know that Jesus is well and alive today. He makes his home in my heart. Nevermore will I be all alone since he promised me that we never would part. Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to Bible Hour. This morning, we're going to be studying from God's Word in the book of Genesis. Genesis is the very first book in the whole Bible, and today we're going to be looking at Genesis chapters 6 through 9. We're going to get to learn about Noah and how God provided for his family. Today, I want to share with you a story, Noah and God's Promises. Noah was a godly man who lived quite long ago, and you can read about his life in Genesis, you know. Now Noah's family never strayed from God as others had. Although God loved his family, the others made him sad. Except for Noah's family, all people loved their sin. Though once their hearts were filled with love, now evil ruled within. So God decided what to do. He came up with a plan. With water, he'd destroy all flesh, all beast, all birds, and man. But Noah, in his faith-filled life, was favored in God's eyes. So God said, Noah, I'll save you, your sons, and all your wives. God said to Noah, build an ark, then told him how to do it. The Lord's instructions were exact, right down to the last cubit. And then the Lord said, when it's done, please follow my design. Bring in each animal and bird, a pair of every kind. Upon the day the ark was done, the families went inside. Then came the animals and birds as God had specified. Two by two they filed aboard before the flooding rain would cover every living thing from mountaintop to plain. The thunder boomed, the lightning streaked through storm clouds thick and dark, but Noah's family, beast and birds were snug inside the ark. The waters filled the valleys deep and climbed the mountain heights while Noah's family waited it out for 40 days and nights. Old Noah was a faithful man. He knew that by and by the rains would stop and all the land would once again be dry. So when the rains had ended and the sun began to shine, he sent a dove to search the earth and carry back a sign. An olive branch declared dry land, so Noah's family knew that they could leave the ark quite soon, and all the creatures too. Old Noah waited patiently until God spoke the word. Go out and take along with you each animal and bird. Upon a mount called Ararat, they offered thanks in prayer to God who saved them from the flood with his great loving care. Now God was pleased to see the praise of Noah and his crew. So God announced upon that day his promise ever true. I'll never bring a flood again to cause all flesh to die. The symbol of my vow will be a rainbow in the sky. Now when the storm clouds gather and big dry raindrops start to fall, we do not have to be afraid. God prom God's promise will recall. The sun will shine. God told us so. And through those shining rays, we'll see his sign, the rainbow, and we'll offer God our praise. Boys and girls, now we have a wonderful puppet show for you to learn even more about Noah. Long ago, the people of the earth were very mean. Rawr! 
Ow. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm the sound effects person. <laughs> oh, great. This is going to be fun. <laughs> People were so mean that God felt sorry he'd ever made them in the first place. I'll wipe them out and start over. <clears throat> but I'll save Noah because he believes in me and follows me. Hallelujah. Hey, Noah. Yes, God. Build me a boat. Am I going on a cruise? Well, sort of. Well, can I take my wife? Yes, take your whole family. Oh, goody. I hope it's to the Bahamas. Not quite. It's a zoo cruise. Sounds exotic. Oh, I believe it is. Believe me. Now, go and get started. All righty, then. So Noah and his family built the boat. <laughs> Noah, where should I put the sail? Well, it's not that kind of boat. Oh, too bad. Year after year, they worked. <laughs> this is the biggest boat I've ever seen. Well, actually, it's the only boat you've ever seen. Oh, too bad. Until finally, it was done. Whew. No kidding. You're telling me. And then God sent the animals, and they came to him too. I know this one. By fours. What? Two by fours. The animals did not come in two by fours. Uh, the termites did. Look, the animals came to him two by two, and Noah and his family packed lots of food because they would have to feed all those animals and themselves. <coughs> That is a lot of doggy chow. They lived with those animals on the ark for a whole year. That's a lot of doggy poop. Yuck. Yuck. Then the wind and the rain started. <laughs> Noah and his family and all those animals got on the ark. Hey, Noah, where's the swimming pool? It's not that kind of boat. Oh. Too bad. At last, they were all on board, and God shut the door. Slam! Hey, that's my line. Slam! Ouch! God did not shut the door on Noah's wife's foot. Oh, too bad. No, it was good. Oh, too good. And the ark floated on the water. Whoosh! Whoosh! The ark rolled back and forth on the waves. Uh-oh. What? I'm getting seasick. Here's a brown bag. Thanks. <laughs> <sighs> Much better. For a while, they lived on that zoo cruise with all of those animals. <laughs> and they were safe. Safe! Finally, they landed on the side of a tall mountain. Wham! Softly. Oh, wham. Come on, everyone. Time to get out. <laughs> okay. Then they sacrificed some animals. Let's roast them up. Sizzle, sizzle, gorilla. Mm, snap, crackle, pop. Oh, good. I'm hungry. Not for us. For God. As a way to say thanks for all the things he's done for us and how he saved us. And God sent a rainbow. Ta-da! And a promise that he would never let another flood wipe out the whole world. Alleluia! Alleluia! The, the end. end. Hey, wicked person! Get out of my way or I'll beat you up! <laughs> Yeah, right, evil person. Go ahead and try it. I beat up people every day, even people bigger than you. Yesterday, I beat up some old lady and took everything she had. Ah, big deal. You think you're so bad, wicked person? I say bad words all the time. I don't like to clean my room, and 
I don't floss my teeth. <laughs> yeah. Like who does? The only good person in the world is Noah. Yeah, Noah. Sure is a goody two-shoes. He loves God and always does what God wants him to do. Not me. I like to do mean, awful, terrible things. <laughs> hey, evil person. Let's go do mean things to Noah and his family. Hey, great idea. I really like doing bad things to good people because... I'm really a wicked person. <laughs> no, I'm the wicked person. You're the evil person. Oh, yeah. Noah. What? Who is calling me? Is that you, God? Yes, Noah. People have made the earth full of violence, so I will destroy all people from the earth. Build a boat of cypress wood for yourself. You want me to build a boat? I sure will. I'll do whatever you want me to, God. How do you want me to make it? Make rooms in it and cover it inside and outside with tar. This is how big I want you to build the boat. 450 feet long, 75 feet wide, and 45 feet high. Wow, that sure is a big boat. I will need to get with my sons Shem, Ham, and Jabeth to help me build it. What do you want me to do and use this boat for? I will bring a flood of water on the earth. Everything on earth will die, but I will make an agreement with you. I will have you and your sons, your wife and your son's wives, all go into the boat. Oh, thank you for saving us from the flood. We will have lots of room in that big boat, won't we? Also, you must bring into the boat two of every kind of bird and animal and crawling thing. They will come to you to be kept alive. Also, gather some of every kind of food. You will store it in the boat as food for you and the animals to eat. Okay, God, thanks. That's a lot of work, so I'll get with my family and we'll start right away. Thank you again, God, for loving us so much and taking care of us. Shem, my beautiful wife, come here right away. Yes, Father. What is it? Yes, dear. Here I am. You seem very excited. What's the matter? God just spoke to me. He is very sad because people of the earth are so evil and wicked. He's going to send a big flood over all the earth, and everything is going to die. But God has a plan to save us. And the animals, God wants us to build a big boat, big enough to hold us and some of every kind of animal. Wow, that is amazing. I sure am glad you love God and taught us to love God too. I will get Ham and Jabeth to help me and we will start gathering wood for this boat. Noah, I'm glad God is saving us from the flood and from the evil and wicked people around us. Oh no, here come evil and wicked people now. Hey Noah, what are you doing? It looks really foolish. <laughs> We are building a big boat, just like God asked me to. A big boat? What a fool. There isn't any water around here for you to put a boat in. <laughs> yeah, did you think the water was going to come to you? <laughs> yes, the water is going to come to me. God is going to send a big flood to cover all the earth. Ha! That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. <laughs> I would beat you up if I wasn't laughing so hard. <laughs> And look how big Noah's making his boat. It's huge. What a huge, foolish waste of time. That boat's so big it could hold a herd of elephants. <laughs> no, God only wants me to take two elephants. I need to save room for all the other animals, too. <laughs> You're going to go all over the world gathering animals to sit in your big boat? <laughs> and then you're going to wait for water to come and, and flood the world? <laughs> <laughs> hey, evil person, let's get out of here. Noah's gone psycho. Yeah, wicked person, let's get out of here before he flips out on us. Let's go and be evil and wicked somewhere else, evil. <laughs> Noah. I have seen that you are the best man among the people of this time. Now that you have finished the boat, take pairs of every kind of animal into the boat. I will send rain on the earth. It will rain for 40 days and 40 nights. The whole earth will be covered with water. Look, Look here, here come comes the, the animals, animals two, two by, by two. two. 
Down comes the rain. Hey, hey it's, it's raining. raining. God is doing everything he promised. Well, it stopped raining, but the whole world is covered with water. We sure have been in this boat a long time. When will we ever see dry land again? I have an idea. I will send out a raven to see if it can find any dry treetops or mountaintops. I'm going to throw this bird right now. Hmm. I don't think the raven found any dry land. No. I'll send out a dove now. I will throw this bird out into the open and we'll see what it comes back with. Ah, uh, still nothing. Let's try it again. I will throw this dove. It's got an olive leaf in its mouth. That means the earth will be dry soon. I will throw out this dove once more. Noah, I am putting my rainbow in the clouds. That rainbow is a sign of my promise to you and the whole earth that I will never send a flood to cover the earth. The end. Now it's time for us to review what we've learned today about Noah. And today we've got Drew, Penny, and Ryan here with us to answer some questions about uh, Genesis chapters 6 through 9. So I'm going to ask our friends some questions. And boys and girls at home, turn to your mom and dad and tell them the answer. And we'll see if Drew and Penny and Ryan get it right, just like you will. So here's our first question. In the time of Noah, did the people on earth follow God or were they consumed with sin? Oh, sin. They did evil. They sure did. They did a lot of evil. In fact, the Bible tells us that their hearts were filled with evil, mean, terrible thoughts and actions. Good job, Drew. All right. Who obeyed God and loved God? Oh, I know. Oh, uh, Ryan? Uh, Noah and his family. You're exactly right. Good job. So God was going to destroy the world and use a big flood to clean the whole earth. What did he tell Noah to do to save his family? Oh, I know this one. I know. He told him to build a boat. You are exactly right. They called that boat an ark. Good thinking, Penny. So how did Noah and his sons know how to build this ark? Ooh, they looked at YouTube videos and they figured out how to do it. <laughs> now, Drew, that's what we do today, isn't it? We definitely look at YouTube. But back then, YouTube didn't exist. So you know what, Drew? God told Noah exactly what to do. God told him the type of wood to use, the size of the wood, the size of the whole entire ship. God told Noah every single detail and Noah obeyed everything that God told him to do. So let's think about this one. What animals went on to the ark? Oh, um, um, uh, frogs and um, some pigs and puppy dogs and some other animals. You're right. And even more than that, Ryan, every single solitary animal in the whole wide world went on the boat. So how many of each animal went? Oh, I know. There were two. One boy and one girl of each animal. You are exactly right, Penny. Good thinking. So it started to rain. How many days and how many nights did it rain? 40 days and 40 nights. You are exactly right, Drew. Good job. So how did Noah know when it was time to leave the ark? Um, uh, a dove brought, brought back a branch. A, an olive branch. And you're right, an olive branch. Good thinking, Ryan. So what place did the ark land? Oh, it's, it's kind of hard to say, but it sounded like uh, Mount Rat. <laughs> That's really close, Penny. Mount Ararat. Good thinking. 
So what did Noah and his family do as soon as they got off of the ark? They prayed to God and offered a sacrifice to God. Absolutely. And isn't that a great example to us of what we should do when God takes care of us? We should say thank you to God and offer our love to him, just like Noah. Good thinking, Drew. What did God place in the sky? Oh, um, clouds? Well, the clouds were already there. He placed something else that's full of beautiful colors. Oh, uh, a rainbow. That's it, Drew. Good job. No, Ryan. Good job, Ryan. And the last thing, why in the world did God put the rainbow in the sky? As a sign of his promise to never flood the earth again. Good job, Penny. Thank you, boys and girls, for joining us for Bible Hour today. Come back next time as we learn more about Noah and the Great Flood.